I see this is the one that I forgot from the last time, huh? Okay, um, good solid performance in the opener. Did a lot of positive things. Uh, liked the way our defense swarmed to the ball, put pressure on the quarterback, TFLs. Uh, offensively strung together four straight drives that averaged 75 yards, 11 plus plays. Uh, three straight touchdowns and then a field goal. We hit that halfback pass, which we normally do in practice, and we're looking at four TDs. But had a couple clunker drives there at the end of the third quarter, fourth quarter offensively. Uh, penalties, obviously, uh, too many on offense. Got to cut those out. You know, I think we had seven second 11 pluses and six third and 11 pluses. Some were 17, 21. So. Uh, things that we can teach on tape, obviously, all correctable. Uh, last drive of the second uh, quarter, um, crucial missed assignment on third and five. We should have that play nailed dead. Guy didn't do what he was supposed to do, but like the way we came out. So we didn't finish the second half the way we want to finish the second half. That's always a point of emphasis. But we did start the third quarter uh, by stopping them and driving down the field, and we end up kicking a field goal. Um, should have scored a touchdown. So special teams was solid, and I thought the effort was good. And um, we're excited to play again Friday. Jack, any less than that? You talk about the defense, but just how encouraging is it to see so many different guys getting involved in that disruptive? You talk about tackles for lost sacks. It felt yeah. like it wasn't just maybe one or two guys making plays. That it yeah, was, that's it was... what I'm used to seeing, to be honest with you. That's kind of how we play defense. We like to pride ourselves on being real fast and physical and disruptive up front and creating a lot of different looks for the defense and uh, being really good against the run. I think we gave up 53 yards rushing, less than 200 total yards. And we've always been really good against the run um, and had TFLs and sacks. So it was nice to see that carry over. Uh, with this group, and like I, you know, we've added faces and uh, to the defense, and uh, a lot of guys did get involved, like you said. Matt, any less than this? Coach, a lot of times in week one, it seems like one of the things that teams struggle with is tackling. Uh, live, it looked like you guys tackled pretty well when you guys went back and watched the film. Is that what you saw? And I guess how pleased were you with that? Yeah, yeah, I, I, yeah. We did tackle well, and we swarmed to the ball and had multiple hats, and we didn't tackle in fall camp. And only once in the spring, so there you go. Uh, but a lot to build on. Yeah, Kurt. I mean, you mentioned not have, bringing a lot of new guys in on defense. Uh, two returners. I wanted to ask you about Josh Sanguinetti and uh, Isaiah Jones. What did they do to earn your trust? Uh, Josh obviously had a starting role, but Isaiah only played in four career games, kind of in the rotation at linebacker. What have they done to kind of stand out for you and earn those roles? Well, I think everybody on this team. It, it sort of starts with a clean slate and evaluated uh, daily, in season, off, out season. But there, once we start practice, and particularly fall camp, uh, you know, day in, day out practice, and, and uh, who earns the right uh, to be on the field. Um, so uh, those guys have uh, done well and earned that right. And um, we need them to play well throughout the whole, the whole season. Yeah, Kurt, as the game was coming down the wire in the fourth quarter, uh, you know, up by three scores, you know, what clock was winding down. It seemed like you were still, you know, airing the ball out a, a little bit and, uh, and you, know, you went for it on fourth down there. Do you kind of view situations like that in non-conference as like live uh, practice reps almost? And I guess how do you balance that against like injury risk? Yeah, I mean, yeah, we were still in attack mode. Uh, because you know, at that point, we weren't really satisfied with how we had played um, since really our last touchdown drive. Even the one we went down, kicked the field goal, we weren't pleased that we had to settle for a field goal. So, and we, w there were some missed opportunities out there, and some of them, uh, sometimes we got behind the sticks because of penalties. And, uh, so we wanted to keep attacking. Kurt, it's the uh, first time it's been relevant to ask you about this, but what are your thoughts about playing college football on Friday nights? Here in Indiana, high school football is a big deal. All, all three of the local schools are playing at home here in Bloomington. It's a short week for you, too. 
What are your thoughts on playing college football on Fridays? I mean, I've played Thursday, I've played Friday, I've played Saturday. So we just get ready to play them when we're asked to play them. Yeah, you mentioned the number of, of looks that you all can throw. It, it, I want to say you guys had a lot of role flexible players. I want to say I saw Mikhail working inside, outside. Um, you know, Josh and, and Sean kind of felt like they could kind of play low, play high. When you guys are in that, that process of, of trying to scheme and, and plan, how important is it having those role flexible players? That's real important. And Bryant does a great job along with the defensive staff of creating different packages and week to week based on team's tendencies, uh, you know, what they think uh, puts us in the best position to be successful. So, uh, you know, uh, those guys uh, have to be versatile, uh, but part of being a safety is being able to play low and be a, you know, run force guy and play deep and stop the pass. And, and the, you know, that's where it helps to have intelligent guys uh, defensively because it is a heavy plate. Uh, where you know they've got to learn some things, and there's checks built in to formations and et cetera. Zach Beaton, Jet, Coach, your longest passing play on Saturday was 30 yards, and that was kind of a broken play. It was a lot of checkdowns, screens, RPO type stuff. Was that a byproduct of the opponent? Is that something you guys are looking to do? Get the ball in rhythm? No, we should have had two post touchdowns. Uh, the one we hit Cro uh, Cooper on the deep cross probably should have gone to the post. He's open. We didn't throw it. Now, we did throw the post later in the game uh, to Anderson Kobe, who's open. And, you know, we got to use the field and lay it out there. That should have been a touchdown, too. And we had some other down-the-field opportunity chunks that we just didn't convert on. Jack, you read the team. You had to get a lot of guys playing time on Saturday, especially late in the game. Was there anyone that really stuck out to you that you thought made the most of their opportunities? Well, I, you know, I thought they all played hard. Uh, overall, Aiden Fisher, we thought, really played well. A number of guys played well on defense. I like the way uh, the running backs ran the ball on offense, and uh, Carter Smith uh, played well up front. Uh, Zach Horton did a good job. I, I like the way we kicked off. McCormick, I thought, was excellent on kickoffs. So we, we got some fr uh, young guys in there at the end. Uh, Landino saw some action, and um, Hardy saw some action at linebacker. Uh, and that was, you know, good to see. So uh, continue to try to build some depth. Coach, over here, um, <clears throat> just your thoughts on the offensive line. You did get some young guys in there. I think maybe four guys had their college debut uh, on the offensive line, just the way you thought they, they played. Yeah, did a nice job, rushed for 240 yards. thought we ran the ball effectively, averaged about six yards a rush. And um, pass pro, we had a couple issues, but nothing that's not correctable there. So, uh, you know, we don't have, we're not real deep there on the offensive line. Uh, you know, we can go uh, six, probably six deep with veteran guys, seven. Um, so, we've got to keep progressing. Yeah, a veteran in Donovan McCauley who's played a lot of football but only got to play a, a half in the opener. How frustrating is that, that you weren't able to see him out more in game action? And uh, just how does it hurt him to, to not be able to get those game reps in this new system? Well, you know, I, I don't get frustrated when a guy gets hurt because it's next man up, and I, I don't have time to think about that. Uh, you know, we got him in there, and he was playing fast, doing a nice job, and uh, took a hit. And... Uh, you know, was ruled out, and uh, so he, he'll be anxious to get back, and I'll be anxious to get him back. Jack, I'm curious, um, what's kind of your process of reviewing the game with the quarterbacks, and, and how did you feel like Curtis, like what do you feel like he took away from that game, and, and right. what do you take away from that too? Yeah, well, what, I always come in early and look at ODK, and then uh, when we come in as a staff Sunday morning, uh, the offensive staff will watch together, defensive staff will watch teams together. I may cut out a few plays I've watched with the defense. Um, this past week, I didn't. Um, but in terms of the quarterback coach and Tino coach, you know, tonight Curtis will review the tape with Tino. Uh, and that's how we did it. And I thought he did, I thought he did a nice job. Uh, you know, he made some plays uh, when he was under pressure, getting out of the pocket and made a throw or two and threw the ball fairly well. Uh, you know, he, he missed a couple reads, but uh, I thought it was good first uh, first time out for him. Zion sitting in the middle, then Owen. Kurt, you talked about the 80 penalty yards you guys had. In this week of prep, just what goes into correcting that? Well, you know, now you can 
teach it off tape and the consequence of having a holding penalty and how it puts you behind the chains. And we've got to get better with our hand placement. We've got to get our hands inside. They can't be outside. So, um, you know, that's always a concern going into the first game. We don't have officials at every practice like some people do. So uh, you harp on it during fall camp, but <clears throat> sometimes it takes a consequence to get the result. Yeah, Kurt, just liking to spread the ball around, but also getting uh, production from your running backs. What what goes into the offensive game plan? Is there anything sp specific that you guys really wanted to kind of nail in this first week? Well, I, I mean, every week, you know, we're going to put our best run game plan together based on the opponent, what we're seeing schematically. And then we've always tried to play three backs, keep them fresh. And I thought Elijah Green did a nice job because Kalon Black, uh, you know, ham was a little tight. Um, so we held him precautionary after uh, he ran down on kickoff, I think had one carry. And I thought all those guys did a nice job. Yeah, I mean, uh, follow up on, on Donovan. Do you anticipate him being available for this week or do, at least did he avoid something serious like long term? I think we'll have him back soon. Uh, right now, I'd say it's more day to day. Thank you. All right, guys.